Okay, uh, let's do this. Um, real quick, uh, this is mostly for Tim, but anyone else who wants to use it to figure out how to do this thing. I'm not actually on my VR computer. This is uh, my desktop, uh, but the process I'll just go through. Okay, so Beat Saber! Yay! Uh, let's go to a new tab. Just type in beatsaver.com and that'll take you to a website that has lots and lots of songs uh, you can play in Beat Saber. Yay! Uh, the game comes with 10 songs and they have an 11th one you can add uh, which is uh, a bit longer and uh, I find incredibly difficult. Uh, but um, this site, uh, through a mod, allows you to choose lots of songs. Uh, when you first go to BeatSaber.com, it'll put you here uh, where you see the new songs. So I'm on newest, just to see what's there. You'll notice the very first one on the list here is Volbeat Black Rose. I don't know what that is. But we can see who uploaded it. Yay! General General so Tofu. Oh, okay. Um, the name of the song, uh, the author, uh, which is usually the modder, the person who created the mod, uh, which is the, the mapping. Uh, let's see. Uh, it also tells you how many people have downloaded so far, how many have finished the song. That is, they haven't failed yet, uh, or, or they have failed. Uh, how many did not fail and made it to the end of the song. It also over here has difficulty levels. This song only comes in expert. Uh, you're gonna, and also are there lighting events. Some people freak out from the strobes uh, and if you are epileptic uh, you want to avoid lighting events. Um, uh, let's go down so help. Uh, this song also expert only, expert only. The Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny is Expert Plus. And finally we get to Hatsune Miku's uh, Greenlight Serenade. This one is Expert Plus, Expert and Hard. Uh, so you see that difficulty, there's mostly folks are after Expert and things like that. However, there are songs that do indeed uh, have all the levels. Uh, let's go to top downloads you'll see a difference. Imagine Dragons Believer is incredibly popular. It's been downloaded 144,489 times and 47,500 people have actually finished it. I am not one of those people. Expert, Expert, Gangnam Style uh, has Expert, Hard, and Normal. Okay, Daft Punk here, Expert and Hard. Uh, you can search for songs that you like. Uh, we're old, so probably the songs you like are not going to be on there. Let's just check out the Beatles real quick. Beatles, search! And for some reason, someone has mapped Eleanor Rigby for Beat Saber for expert mode, which makes absolutely no sense. It's the only real Beatles song on here for now. Uh, but go ahead and check that out and do searches. Uh, let's see. If you like some classical, we can do a little Mozart and things like that. Top played. Boom, boom, boom. Beast Saber over here has reviews. And when you check out, uh, like Beat It Here, Michael Jackson has expert, hard, normal, and easy. Uh, when you check it out, and this author, by the way, Freak, he has excellent maps. Uh, but there's a, here we have view at bsaber.com. That's bsaber, that'll be the reviews. And so there. Uh, if you want to review, uh, download a song, you can just hit download file or add the mod. Now Tim says that he's nervous about this whole installing thing because he's a technophobe. Uh, how dare you be racist towards installation of software. Uh, but um, hey, it makes sense. Um, 
if you want the mod, uh, which is called Beat Saver, uh, you just come over here on the top and go to Modding. Click on that, and you have two things, Mod Installer and the Mod Discord. Okay, the Discord is like a chat, uh, a chat program uh, that allows people to talk about different modded songs, and for those who are uh, request a song, if you don't know how to do this, and it's really complicated to build a map, uh, you can request songs, but just go to Mod Installer, click on that, boom, things are about to happen. I now am in GitHub, and GitHub uh, will has the latest mod manager and so if I click on beat Saver mod manager click that sucker ask me where it wants me uh, wa I want to put it I'll just put it in my default for Chrome downloads wherever you want it's just gonna go on your hard drive and you start installing boom I'm done I hit open folder uh, and I can install now okay as I said I don't have Beat Saber on this computer but when you do this just click on that you will have a pop-up that will ask you where your Beat Saber is installed okay and that's all you gotta do all right. When you get this uh, Beat Saber Mod Manager, it'll ask you for the path. Uh, usually, it finds it automatically. So here, I've got Beat Saber Mod Beat Saber Folder Path. That should automatically show where your your Beat Saber program is installed. Okay. And uh, for me, for instance, it's on my D drive under Programs 86. Uh, slash steam slash steam apps slash common slash beat saber uh, because I, I install on D drive and in the same drive for all my games uh, all you have to do is then just choose oh this is a new version too this is really good. it's got the core plugin for the mod the the two things you must have uh, is the song loader and that'll be pre-checked and the downloader and that's pre-checked all this other stuff you see here that's if you want it it's extra stuff and so for instance camera plus lets me have a third person view uh, a browser plugin I don't need that I can change custom savers. I can have my new swords and so you can download those colors, uh, rainbow mods, all sorts of stuff. And if you want to do any of this stuff you can just check it and uh, install them. Uh, so like transparent wall you get rid of the walls. Yay you. Uh, random songs, um, all sorts of tweaks. But just make sure these two are checked and they should already be checked and then you just hit install update and a black screen will appear with a doo -doo 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 -doo. some DOS commands you don't do anything you just let it run and it'll finish and that black screen goes away and this will be back it doesn't tell you the mod is installed but if you've seen the black screen, it's been installed in the right directory. And then, let's get rid of this. The next time you play Beat Saber, uh, once you load it, uh, at the, it'll, it'll load in your custom songs. And this mod uh, manager does, have, when you do that, it will have one custom song to create a custom songs folder that you can download to. You can download your songs within Beat Saber or just here from the browser. And so if I wanted Beat It by Michael Jackson, because I like to beat it, 
at least uh, that's uh, um, sure. Why not? Uh, where do I want to put this? Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, I, if I wanted to, I can put this zip, which is the Beat It by Michael Jackson. I put it in my custom song mod folder here, and it's done. I open the folder, there's the zip. I'll need to, to play it, I'll need to unzip it. So I extract it to the folder with the same name, and then I copy this folder into the custom songs directory under Beat Saber in Steam. And you'll see there it is, Beat It. Okay? And it's got the audio fire, and this is all crap related to mapping the song. And so you don't need to worry about all that. If you open up download within the game, it automatically unzips it in the right place. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay? And that, my friends, is all you got to do. Seriously, Beat Saver, Mod Installer, goes to GitHub, download this file, and execute it. And you should be okay. And then happy, happy hunting for new songs. Uh, either just search for what you like, uh, and it'll take a while before you find something you, you do enjoy. Uh, or just look at some of the top stuff. because uh, Some of these are really mapped well. Gangnam Style is not a favorite song, but it is mapped really well. Um, some, not so much. If you go to Beast Saber, you can read reviews. That's bsaber.com. Uh, you can read reviews of mods, okay? And uh, curated content is where they, they discuss stuff that is actually good or not. And so you can check things out and read articles, but you don't have to. I mean, come on. Um, let's see. Up here, Getting Started tells you how to get started on this stuff. Uh, what are the newest songs? What are some plugins? Social, yeah, who cares? Playlist is useful. I do not recommend this Beat Drop playlist tool for Beat Saber. I installed it and it really screwed some stuff up, so I ended up uninstalling it. Okay, but if you go to playlists and look at curated playlists, this is kind of cool. Uh, in that, uh, these are playlists you can download. Uh, and songs with fantastic flow are maps that are really well put together. Okay. Or workout flow. These are songs that are really good for, for working out, exercising. Fantastic flow. Let's open this one. And this one's for dance. Okay. So workout flow, for instance, you can download the playlist. Uh, that's just for the beat drop thing. I would just take a look at what's in the, what songs are in the list, and then just download the ones that look interesting. I like this one, Britney Spears. I want to go. Uh, there's a couple. I like her Toxic as well. And so these are songs that have been recommended for being very well mapped. Okay. Okay. And. See you dance. Some stuff for dancing. And you can check who are some of the better um, Beat Saber modders, that sort of thing. You can and you can do that too and search. For instance, I know that um, F R E E K Freak is a good modder, and so he tends to have some really nicely done maps that you can check out. Okay, and that's enough. All right. Just a no.